Hey guys, I've got an exciting video for you today. Every year, Shantakai celebrates Sylvie Shantakai, who is the founder and CEO of Shantakai. They celebrate her birthday every year, and what they like to do on their site is extend 30% off of most of their products on the site to you guys. So the sale this year is uh, going from July 28th through July 31st, but I have an early access code that I would love to share with you guys if you wanna shop it a little bit earlier. So you'll be able to start shopping with my code, which I'll leave down below in the description box, but it's Michelle30. Um, you'll be able to start shopping with that on the 24th. So I just wanted to showcase some of my favorite Shantikai products. As you guys know, I'm such a huge, huge fan of Shantikai, and it is such a pleasure to be able to work with them again on this video and to be able to talk about this very, very exciting sale. To get 30% off of Shantikai, is really just amazing. It is time to stock up on some of your favorites. So I'm gonna actually start with their BioLifting mask. This is, this is just such a wonderful mask. I'm trying to think of like where to start, but this is just, it's a great mask if you feel like you need um, a little firming, <laughs> if you feel like you need a little bit of hydration, if you need a little bit of plumping. So I like to use this mask at night. I also like to use this mask during the day. I find that it is great as a kind of a skim prep for makeup because I feel like my fine lines kind of disappear, like my skin just looks a little bit more plump. I get that like lifting action, which is really wonderful. And you can use it as a typical mask where you apply it and wipe it away or you can use it as um, almost like a really rich moisturizer. So if you wanna put down just a thin layer, it acts as a really nice primer. So I'm gonna use it as a mask today. And here is, did I even show you the jar? Here is the jar, it's this beautiful like chrome finish. And here is the texture of the mask. Hopefully you can see it. It has a very nice, almost like yogurt pudding-like texture. It's not too super rich and thick, which is why I really like using it during the day because it really doesn't just sort of sit on top of your skin. It's a really nice under your makeup uh, mask. I also find to get the effects that I want, I don't even need a lot of this mask. If I do use it at night, sure, I put on like a nice thick layer so that it has like all night to kind of absorb. But during the day, I can just put on this really nice light layer, let it sit there for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, whatever, whatever you feel like. And like I mentioned, if you use like an even less amount than I showed you, if you use even less than that, you can use it as like a moisturizer or primer for your makeup. I love how smooth this mask makes my skin. And I don't know if you guys can see, like it just looks a little bit more plump and youthful, I feel like, around my eyes. So I did wanna mention one of the exclusions in this sale are the Shantakai Philanthropy products. So I did wanna make mention of that, but all the details of the sale are gonna be down below in my description box, so like my code and the dates and all of that stuff, but early access with my code does start today. So I'm gonna let the mask sit and I'll be back in about 10 minutes. So I feel like uh, most of the mask has been absorbed. Again, I've just put a very thin layer on since we're kind of doing this underneath makeup for the daytime, um, but I do feel a little a little bit left over on the skin, so I'm definitely gonna wanna towel that off. But what you can do is actually spray some of the Shantikai Pure Rose Water on your face. I love this facial mist. It is, it's just, it's like Goldilocks. It's just perfect. It doesn't leave too much of a moisturizing film on my skin, which sometimes I like. It doesn't feel too astringent either. It really is just very refreshing and kind of doesn't really leave a mark. It just leaves your skin feeling plump, refreshed, hydrated, and it's just perfect for the summertime. It's been so hot here in Vegas. I know I keep saying that, but it's been so hot here in Vegas. I've been really loving these facial mists. So I'm actually going to go ahead and spray my face with the mist, and then I'm gonna go ahead and towel everything off. All right, so everything is wiped away, but I'm left with, my God, my skin feels like brand new. It feels so smooth, soft, supple, and I feel like all of my fine lines here are like plumped out and everything. Just love it. Okay. All right, I had to <laughs> tie my hair back, and when I was digging for my barrette, because I'm still kind of unpacking from the house move, um, I found my Shantikai like PR package that they sent. Um, it's this really beautiful like round leather bag. Anyway, I thought I'd put it back there, it's so cute. Um, so. We're starting with makeup, Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 15. It has physical SPF, it uses titanium dioxide, and I have it in the shade Vanilla. It comes in this 
tube and it has a really beautiful creamy texture. So let me go ahead and squeeze some out here. So there is the texture you can see. It's not runny or anything like that. It's very lotion-like. So I am just using the littlest bit here. I don't want anything too heavy or anything like that. Not that this tinted moisturizer ever feels heavy, but I really want just a very nice thin layer. And I'm using the foundation and mask Shantakai brush, which is really, really great. It spreads the product out really evenly. I'm just gonna apply it to this side of my face so you can see what the coverage is like with just a very thin layer. All right, so there it is on this half of my face and nothing on this side. And I feel like you can see just how much smoother and even my skin looks with just that little bit. I used up pretty much everything that I squeezed out onto the back of my hand. So it doesn't take much to see like your skin tone start to even out. So I'm just gonna squeeze out a bit more and finish up applying to the rest of my face here. This product does build really, really nicely too. So if you wanna just lay down a very nice light layer and then just add a little bit more to your problem areas, it works really beautifully that way as well. All right, there it is. A nice light layer over my skin. I do feel like I look a little bit shiny, or I should say I look a little bit shinier than I usually do when I use this tinted moisturizer. This leaves a very beautiful, natural skin-like finish, but I am very, very warm. I did put down that beautiful mask, so I do think right now I look a little bit shinier than when I normally use this moisturizer. So just for your reference. Let's go ahead and move on to some blush. I have the Chantecaille Cheek Gelée here in Vibrant. I also have it in Happy and I think Lively may be the other shade that I have. Like I keep mentioning and I'm gonna keep mentioning, I'm, I'm still unpacking from my move. So this is the one that I unearthed, which is fine because this is the one that I wanted to use. So this one is Vibrant. And this one is a little bit deeper than the other two, Happy and Lively. I'm gonna go ahead and use Vibrant. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out onto the back of my hand. I feel like I squeezed out too much. <laughs> so there is Vibrant. It's a very kind of mid-tone pink with a lot of red in it. So it gives you like a really kind of like dull cheek effect. Let me go ahead and I'm just gonna use my fingers and I'm just applying it to the apples of my cheeks and I'm gonna bring it out towards my temple here. And these cheek gelées have the most wonderful texture because they're like a gel cream, kind of. So they're not quite as thin as a gel, but they're not quite as thick as just like a cream blush. They're right in between and it just makes them so easy to work with. So I'm actually gonna take that same foundation mask brush and I'm just picking up the rest of what's on the back of my hand here and just really working it into the brush so I get a nice even application. I'm just going to brush over what I laid down with my finger here. So there is the Cheek Gelée and Vibrant. Oh, I love it, it just adds that life that I need, that like healthy glow that I so desperately need. It adds that right into my complexion. Really, really enjoy it. This cheek gel I do wanna mention also, when I use my finger to apply it, like when I tap it on, it works beautifully over powder. I don't feel like it does any weird lifting of makeup or anything like that. It applies beautifully over powder. Um, today, we're just applying it over the Just Skin uh, Tinted Moisturizer. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I'm gonna start with a finger application just to lay down a nice, light layer and then just taking my brush and kind of airbrushing it out a little bit all right there is vibrant in the cheek gelée all right next let's play with their liquid lumieres they look just like their cheek gelées they come in packaging very, very similar, but these are the liquid highlighters. So this is what the liquid Lumieres look like. So again, the exact same packaging as the blushes, just different colored uh, like stripes here to let you know. And I took the liberty of squeezing out a bit of each. Starting here, we have the shade Sheen. Then this is Luster. And this last one is Brilliance. Brilliance is a lot more gold, or I should say a little bit more gold, then Sheen, which is a little bit cooler. 
so Brilliance is a little bit warmer. And Luster, if you have my skin tone, it's great as like a um, blush topper. It's really, really beautiful. You just wanna like add it to like the apples of your cheeks a little bit, or maybe out here on top of your cheekbone. It's really gorgeous. And if you have a deeper skin tone, it makes for a beautiful, beautiful highlight. So I am gonna go ahead and use Sheen, which is the cooler of the three here, the coolest of the three here. And it also has the most silvery kind of shine. And I'm actually gonna take the Chantecaille concealer brush and use it to apply this highlight because I just wanna hit some points here, the top of my cheekbone. God, do you see how bright that is? It's beautiful. And then I'm going to blend in with my finger. So these flat type brushes are great for lay down and then you can just quick blend with your finger. A little here, maybe a little bit down the bridge of my nose, and that's it. But look at that beautiful shine. It's just beautiful and it blends really, really nicely. I find the texture of these, I don't know if you can see it, they're a little bit, teensy bit thinner than the cheek gelés, which don't really run at all. I don't think these are really running either, but they are just a little bit thinner. So just a little FYI uh, regarding their texture. All right, chugging right along here. Um, next, I wanna use their mermaid eye colors. These single shadows, I love, absolutely love. So I have four of them here. I have three that are more of like the typical mermaid eye colors, and then I have one of their mermaid eye mattes. Um, and that's Olivia. So let me go ahead and swatch all of these for you. Oh wait, I'm such a liar. I have five. <laughs> I have four of the mermaid eye colors and then I have one mermaid eye matte. Okay, starting from over here, this is Starfish. It's just a very subtle, almost my skin tone like color, but there's a little bit of a sheen there. Then this one is Starfish. This one is Copper. And this one is Hematite. This is the newest to my collection and it's so pretty. So, so pretty. It's like a pewter brown, a little bit of purple in there. It's so gorgeous. Starfish is more of like a straight up purpley pink color and copper is, is copper. There's a bit of warmth there. And then this over here is Olivia. So that's the matte color. It's a very cool tone, kind of taupe color. So I think I'm going to use, I'm in love with hematite. I'm gonna use hematite and seashell. So these two, and kind of like blend them together on the center of my lid. So the texture of these potted shades, they're not you know, terribly wet or loose in any way, like the Tom Ford or the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, these are a little bit more dry, I guess you could say. They're not putty-like, they're not like the Westman Atelier. They have like a little bit of a drier texture than that. This is the eye definer brush from Chantecaille. And I'm gonna pick up some of the seashell and apply that to the inner corner here. I think they're doing some landscaping next door, so I apologize for any background humming. All right, so I applied that inner corner over like the center of my lid, and now I'm gonna grab hematite, and I'm just going in the outer corner here, and I'm gonna blend towards that seashell. Simple eye look for today. I'm really digging the, the two shadow look. You guys know I'm like a one and done shadow fan as well, but the two shadow look is so effective if you wanna just build a little bit of uh, dimension. I'm gonna take this smaller Chantecaille brush. This brush actually comes in the uh, refillable palettes that Chantecaille offers. They're really beautiful. They have like different sizes, um, gorgeous. And it comes with these brushes. These brushes usually, you know, the ones that come with palettes are usually throwaway brushes or brushes that I never ever think to use. This is one of the best <laughs> eye brushes I've ever used and definitely the best one that like comes in a palette for sure. So anyway, that's where this brush comes from. I'm just gonna use this to grab a little bit of the hematite again, the darker shade. And I'm just gonna drag this along my lash line just a little bit. I'm not doing a heavy liner look or anything, but I just wanna accent my 
lash line a teensy bit. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and I'll be back to apply some mascara. For mascara, I'm gonna use the Chantecaille, the Faux Seals Longish, long, Longest Lash Mascara. <laughs> Longest Lash Mascara. That took about like five takes. Whatever, we're moving on. Uh, so the Faux Seals. This is such an incredible mascara. It just looks beautiful on the lashes, uh, but it also has peptides and all of those things to help your lashes grow. And when I use this mascara solely for, I wanna say, it takes me maybe like three to four weeks, um, I will start to see my lashes look longer, a little bit fuller. It's pretty amazing. But because of my job, I'm always testing out different things. And unfortunately, it's hard for me to be able to use like one mascara straight for like three to four weeks. But I remember when I did, when I was able to, this made a really, really beautiful difference. So anyway, let's go ahead and apply this. It has very, um, you know, standard kind of one, natural style bristles. And the texture of this mascara is great too. It's not too wet and it's not too dry. It's like right in the middle. Look at how beautifully it coats like every lash. It's so good. And it never looks um, clumpy or anything like that. It just has a really nice kind of like glide to it. it never flakes, it never smudges, nothing like that. Definitely one of my favorite mascaras of all time. Finally, let's go ahead and play around with the um, hydrating lip balms. These feel so good on the lips. Like many of the Chantecaille lip products, it's really hard for me to pick my favorite. These are um, a little bit less pigmented than the other lip products, aside from the lip gloss, but the other lipsticks in the Chantecaille line. So here are the four shades. So the first one here is Verbena. The next one is Madeira. Then we have Calendula. That is the most coral. And then finally we have Beach Rose, which is the lightest and the frostiest of the four. Aren't they so beautiful? They're, you know, just these tinted bombs so they have a light pigment, but they all have this gorgeous sheen. So I think I'm gonna use the Beach Rose. These. Let me just show you the bullet. I don't know if you can see. Sometimes you can see how moisturizing <laughs> a lip product is, and you can in real life. Like it just looks really, really moist. Sorry, it just looks really, really moist. So anyway, just enough pigmentation, so comfortable. It makes my incredibly parched lips between the super dry heat outside and the air conditioning on the inside. Yeah, I've been needing a lot of help in the moisturization area, and these have been wonderful. So that is Beach Rose. Just perfect, like just little touch, little touch of color, little touch of a sheen. Just very, very pretty. All right, time to let my hair down. <laughs> So that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. All the details for the Shantikai sale will be down below in the description box. It starts today. Uh, use my code Michelle30 for early access. And that's it. Happy shopping. I love, I just love Shantikai as you guys know. I would have used a lot more of their products in this video if I could, but this was just a nice kind of like highlight of what I've been loving, what I think is really, really great for this time of the year. Like the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer, it has that little bit of SPF kick in there. These hydrating lip balms, wonderful. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.